Hello Europe, meet Millwall. September the 16th, 2004 is the night that the South East London Championship side begin their first ever European adventure. And here at the Den they can't quite believe it. After the excitement of their FA Cup final last May, now it's the UEFA Cup. First round, first leg, everything is set here at the Den. And we've got some quality opponents too, the Hungarian champions, Ferenc Varos, a pedigree side. A night that history is made for Millwall. Next to us, uh, sampling the atmosphere for Bravo tonight, we have a living slice of uh, Millwall history. Steve Claridge, former player of the year. Steve, emotional? I wouldn't say emotional, it's just lovely to be back and uh, I'm looking forward to it. It was tough to get here, it's going to be tough to get further as well from what I'm hearing. Yeah, uh, there's been a, a couple of times I spoke to Dennis, and he's watched them, they're a good side. I think they expect him to spoil it a little bit tonight, but there's um, also a bit of quality to them. So there'll be, there'll be a fair, fair amount of cynicism in their game, I would imagine, but it's something that we've got to overcome if they're going to win this game. Absolutely, a fair amount of noise here. Do you think it's going to be intimidating for the, the Hungarians? No, I would imagine uh, from uh, what their fans are like, they'd be fairly used to this sort of atmosphere. Right, well, a lot of respect then for Ferenc Varos. Uh, our reporter went down before the game to talk to Millwall's player manager, Dennis Wise. He, too, had the uh, highest esteem for his opponents tonight. Who'd have thought it? The Lions are in Europe. But they've got a tough draw. Ferenc Varos are Hungary's top club, and plenty of pundits reckon they shouldn't have been in the UEFA Cup at all, including Millwall boss Dennis Wise. In this game, uh, they are the bigger team, you know, the Hungarian champions. Um, they actually should have got in the Champions League. I watched the video against Sparta Prague who they played, um, and they were very unfortunate. Uh, they played extremely well, and uh, they should have gone through. Wise and his assistant, Ray Wilkins, have had plenty of experience in games like tonight. But while their team is still young, they gained a lot in last season's run to the FA Cup final. I think it's helped them. It's, it's helped them in a good way. Um, they've learned that, that they're in the spotlight now and it's, it's time to become um, bigger people and stronger people and hopefully they'll rise to the occasion. So tonight's the night the boys from the new den have got to grow up. Can the old heads guide them through their first big European test? So there you go, Ferenc Varos, instead of meeting the uh, Real Madrid's and Romas of this world, instead get a trip to the Den, which is looking uh, very atmospheric indeed, and uh, a, meet, a meeting with Millwall. Now, Millwall have had some problems scoring goals, haven't they, uh, this season? You, uh, you, you think they're going to be concentrating pretty much on, on not conceding any, any tonight? Well, they, I mean, uh, I think the first goals they concede away from home is at Ipswich Sunday, so they are a difficult side to play against. Uh, defensively, they're very strong. Uh, in midfield, they'll do a job, they keep the four, ball very well. But I think their Achilles heel is scoring goals, and uh, that's why they've put Dicchio, probably not 100% Dicchio, fit Dicchio on the bench. Um, with that in mind. Right. Ferenc Varas, meanwhile, do you know a lot about them, Steve? No, I've just read a report, actually, which was given to me by the Chief Scout. Right. Um, it looks like they're very very good on the ball, right. as, as, as most foreign sides are. They, they're not particularly keen on tackling, not particularly good in the air, so there's, there's one or two weak points, but uh, if you let them play, apparently they can be very, very good. Right. Well, 20-time Hungarian champions, that and other gems uh, are coming your way now as we bring you five facts that you probably might need to know about Ferenc Varos. Ferenc Varos are Hungary's most successful club with 28 championships and 20 cup wins. Last season, they did the League and Cup double. Ferenc Varos are the only Hungarian club to have won a European trophy, the 1965 Fairs Cup. That's the forerunner of today's UEFA Cup. Ferenc Varos play in Budapest, Hungary's capital. It's actually two cities, Buda and Pest, split by the Danube. Ferenc Varos are from Pest. Ferenc Buskas was Hungary's greatest ever player, captain of the amazing team that beat England 6-3 at Wembley over half a century ago. But he doesn't play anymore, so Hungary aren't as good these days. They're 76th in the FIFA ranking, just behind Cuba. But they did manage to beat Scotland in a friendly last month. Fascinating stuff. Well, everything's set here then uh, in Bermondsey, South East London for Millwall's historic first ever game in Europe. Millwall, Fenning, Vados, first round, first leg of the UEFA Cup. All the action of the first half coming up live right after this break.